Hello guys and welcome to Rural Germany. In today's episode, we are going to replace the highways. And yes, I know, another highway episode, but this is really the final one for a while. So for today, I got the blank road highways and we are going to use that to replace the old highways and apply custom markings so they look way better. We're starting on upgrading the roads on the construction site. And this was particularly hard because I had to redo all the yellow markings that we added in the episode where we were building the construction site. So the primary reason for this replacement is that on the previous highways the stripes were just way too short compared with the actual German highways. And with the blank road highways you can basically paint your own stripes on the roads with intersection marking tool which is what we're doing in this episode. Because of this I can apply the correct spacing between the stripes and it just looks so much more German. Because of that I can also add the special line that separates the highway from the exit ramp. This was not an option on the other highways and this just makes it look even more realistic. So now we are painting the lines on the abandoned highway exit that we built in I believe it was episode 5 and you also see that I make the lanes wider by adding an offset to the points where the lines start and end. I do this so that the emergency lane doesn't look too wide and this worked quite well. Here you see me playing around with node controller to align the new roads correctly. This was needed because the new highways have a different width than the old ones. So in this video I use a lot of presets and copying of roads otherwise it wouldn't be possible to do in such a short amount of time. Luckily IMT has the option to copy the lane editing of a specific segment. You can add them as a template or preset set and then you can paste them in the next node. Another trick that I used a lot in this video was the option to apply road markings between intersections or for the entire street. This really helps when you have a long strip of highway and you don't want to edit every single node or segment manually. So in that time lapse you just saw me redo the interchange that we built in episode 6. This was a bit harder than the previous highway exit that we did because I had to slightly redesign the on and off ramp system to make it function. I couldn't just copy the markings and paste them again. But at the end with a lot of cutting in the editing I managed to do it in a reasonable amount of time. So here we start working on the most recent highway exit that is located there where the highway ends. Again I had to do a 
little bit of redesigning with the yellow lines in the slight construction side that we have over here especially on the side of the highway that ends but all the effort paid off at the end because it just looks so so much better so yeah while we're doing that let's talk about the plans for the future i know i missed the weekly upload and i hope it doesn't happen again but we're back now and i have episode 10 recorded so i hope to get that out next weekend and then i also have a first person train ride as a special for the 10 episodes which was actually planned to go live somewhere next week on tuesday or wednesday or something but because all the uploads got delayed by a week i could also delay the first person train ride by a week or i could just upload it before episode 10 so let me know in the comments if you want it this week or the week after it doesn't really matter about spoiling or anything because in episode 10 we'll be working on a completely different area so you won't even see it in the train ride actually maybe a small part but you won't notice it if you don't know it so yeah let me know what you want and i'll probably do it this week because i'm just so excited for you guys to see it but i appreciate the feedback let's get back to the build over here we are replacing the highways of the first interchange that we did in this series and together with replacing the highways i also upgrade most of the bridges to ground level roads because that is what I got suggested that that is really realistic in Germany. And when I thought about it, yeah, there was no point on having the off ramps be a bridge. So we converted these bridges to ground level roads and it indeed looked much better. Then we have a bit worse news. I originally had recorded another few hours of footage where I detailed the highways with delineators and crash barriers, but unfortunately those are corrupted. I could have re-recorded them, but I decided that we will build plenty of highways in the future, so there will be plenty of actual detailing footage. And I didn't feel like wasting two or three hours again to do this boring work, which is adding delineators. So I'm really sorry for that, but you can see how the result is in the cinematics. So as I said before the cinematics, I lost the footage of the highway detailing, but to make it up, I have a few more minutes of detailing around the highway, which could still kind of count as highway detailing, but it's more expanding the farmland and detailing across the river. So yeah, we're just expanding the old main road over here that would lead alongside the river until it goes to another place, which I will talk about a bit more in the next episode. We expanded the farm fields a tiny bit and then we started adding grass and trees to make the river coast look really nice. I also added some rocks to make it look a bit nicer. Yeah, I didn't have a specific reason, but I just found that it looked great, so why not add it? Over here we are detailing the other side of the highway viaduct with some trees to cover up the wall that we built together with this viaduct. This was something that had to happen anyway, so I'm glad I could do that before we are going to do the first person train ride. So as the last thing for today, we are going to detail alongside the highways with grass and trees and just make it look really nice. So it turns out you at least get some highway detailing. Sadly, I can't do this amount of detailing for every part of the highway because then 
I would reach the prop limit next week and I would also reach the limit that I can load the series because my potato can't handle it anymore. So we're going to detail small parts of the highway with grass and with trees and with the rest of the highway we will just do the same but without plopping so much grass and other nature stuff. So this is the end of today's video, I hope you enjoyed it. We replaced the highways and we detailed alongside of them together with finishing off a little corner that was still unfinished. Let me know in the comments if we are going to have the train ride this week or the week after. Subscribe if you liked it and join my discord, link is in the description. And then I'll see you in the next video.